but also in development. Kam Chimenza for the Legends Edition. Young innovators have been challenged to come up with solutions to societal problems. This emerged during the sixth annual science fair where young innovators from the ages of six to ten years come together to showcase their projects that are in line with the science, technology, engineering and mathematics or STEM curriculum. Some of the notable innovator, uh, innovations rather showcased was an invention on an obstacle sensing car that detects an obstacle 10 meters away, homemade vacuum cleaners and oil spill cleanup among others. Dream Chasers. The Dream Chasers. Dream Chasers. The sixth annual science fair was held at Nairobi's Lavington Montessori Kindergarten. Here, science and technology was at play as young innovators showcased their talents and brains. Ten-year-old Ethan Kirade of Nova Pioneer Tattoo Primary School came up with obstacle sensing car that will help in minimizing road accidents by detecting objects within a 10-meter range. To avoid accidents, to alert people if, some, if, if a person is in front of the car and, uh, and someone is concentrating to something else, yes, so when it starts beep, beeping, it, um, it alerts someone to, it alerts someone to know there's, there's something in front, yeah. Other innovations include homemade vacuum cleaner and oil spill cleanup, among others. The founder of Little Einstein Science Explorers Mugure Njendu say the program has enabled young innovators to come up with solutions to societal problems. We really try during these sessions to get the best out of them towards responding to a solution. CBC is the government stamp on innovation and giving opportunities for students to discover their skills. So for me, I feel like the competency-based curriculum is the way the government is supporting schools. Just enacting education reform is a big deal. It's very hard to do. Many countries have not done that for years, but I think Kenya has taken a bold step with CBC. Chief guest John Gidongo of Inuka Nisisi Limited said parents and teachers should initiate support for the young innovators. The government has a responsibility to, to lead, but it's up to the parents to encourage and to inspire their kids because the instruments for them to, uh, to, to, uh, to explore this creativity is all around them. Congratulations. The science fair was attended by 130 students from over 15 schools competing in different categories. Competency-based curriculum CBC that emphasizes the complex outcomes of a learning process rather than mainly focusing on what learners are expected to learn about in terms of traditionally defined subject content has enabled the molding of young innovators and execution of their creative ideas in science, art, engineering, technology and math. Reporting for Legends Edition. Ampolin, 